Welcome students, I am Tonme and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and Chemistry of Molecule. This is a continuation lecture, this is a part 2 of the Lehman reaction. So, this is I say part 2 of Gilman reagent. So, in previous video, I have discussed about the basic concept preparation of the sample, preparation of the catalyst and reaction with sp3, uh, ri sp3 carbon halogen one for substitution reaction. And in this video, I shall discuss about the CC coupling between the Gilman reagent and ri or vinyl halides. So, that is a difficult thing because substitution reaction on sp3 center is easy but sp2 or aryl means vinyl or aryl is really difficult okay so you can see that this r2cu li this is actually a softer reagent <laughs> softer reagent compared to the parent r li so what happens that we know this is a this is alpha, this is beta to carbonyl. So if we use R2 CU Li, what happens? This carbon, this R, which is the nucleophilic center, this is the nucleophile. This is the nucleophile gets attached to this beta position. Means actually it results in 1 for addition. Please keep it in mind. So I should write this that it results in. 1, 4 addition, fine. But if you use alkyl lithium, instead of this copper, if you have used directly alkyl lithium, by the way, it should be represented, this is minus plus, always. Okay, if I made any mistake, but you please correct it. So, this, but if you use only uh, this al uh, alkyl lithium, it will result this RLI 1, 2 addition. This is RLI first and second step is H plus or H3O plus. So this is OH, this is R. Okay, so this is actually 1, 2 addition. And this is 1, 4 addition. Because RLI is a harder region, so it prefers to the hard center that is this carbon. And this R2CULI is softer region, that's why it prefers to add on the beta position. Fine, so first example. These are the three most important examples. So later I shall give you a few more other examples. So first of all, so in second case, this is in, this is very interesting. What will be the product? So simple nucleophilic attack is not possible on vinyl and aryl thing. This part you will know better from my substitution. Uh, lectures, nucleophilic substitution because these bonds are not that much weak so not possible and second part, that side there is a pi cloud which will repel the nucleophile which is actually an electron rich center. So in this case something extra happens. What is happening? So first a uh, adapt is formed between this copper di di alkyl copper reagent. Why? Because copper can act as a Lewis acid because it can take electron. But in this case, it will not take electron. Why? This is electron rich. Let's draw it. So, this is a, this is that bromide and this is that copper reagent. So, this is methyl. This is methyl. So, it will form bond. Definitely. So this will donate electron pair to the copper center. But the interesting point is that that copper is electron rich because it has excess electron. You can see copper is one oxidation state with a negative charge. So we will prefer to take electron from the ligand. Here this alkene act as a ligand. So instead of taking it can donate also. And what we know that this alkene can act as a pi acceptor. Because if you look at the alkenes, this is the homo of the alkene. This is, this is the homo. So it can act as sigma donor. And the lumo looks like this is. So this is, and this is the lumo. This is pi acceptor and this factor will be utilized here. 
okay so what is happening so this is this is and we know that metals have this copper <coughs> have have filled electron because the d orbital is completely filled so what it can happen these d orbitals on this copper this could be donated to the ligand so what do i mean this electron density will be donated to this so metal to ligand this electron will go fine so what happens there is a double bond so it has a pi it has a pi star and pi and we know this pi contains two electron now if <coughs> this copper donates its electron two electron here so what will be the remaining bond order this is from copper one so <coughs> bond order is 2 minus 2 by 2 equal to 0 so actually the double bond the pi bond doesn't exist that's why it can behave as as saturated CBR it behaves like saturated CBR bond so then what happens if it behaves like saturated CBR bond then this transfer of methyl is possible it will attack here and it will eliminate this is a very important concept please try to understand I will explain once more what happens that first this LUMO or pi star pi star and this copper coordinates copper is electron rich because first of all it is plus one oxidation state second of all another unit of methyl is attached to this copper and this is a strong sigma donor so copper having an electron rich at it, uh, situation and copper has energy means filled d orbital it is a d10 system so it can donate its electron to the pi star of this double bond and if additional two electron is donated to pi star resulting bond order became zero that means no pi bond actually no pi bond so no pi bond then it is not a vinylic right now it is normally a simple aliphatic CX we like sp3 so it attacks and it replaces this bond so this is the concept for this reaction so ultimately what will be the product <coughs> Product is this is so overall there is a coupling reaction between methyl and CBR bond. We know the coupling reaction with this sp2 center is difficult, and this is the uniqueness of this reaction. First, second, in case of this, what is happening? In case of this uh, this reaction, the first step oxidative addition occurs. Okay, it is not that much easy like that because it's a complicated. So for that, the proposed actually both are proposed mechanism. Okay, so thing is that first oxidative addition to prepare this copper three species. This is methyl. methyl. Okay, so this is ox and right now this copper is at three oxidation state. Oxidative addition. In near future, I shall upload palladium uh, chemistry, cross coupling reaction, that I shall explain. Here also, this is an oxidative addition. Why I am saying that? Because when copper donates two electron to this center, oxidation occurs, but that is not isolated. Okay, so that is also like that process. So and again, it takes back. So what happened? This is oxidative addition. In next step, what happens? In next step, this reagent undergo reductive elimination means this copper and one methyl eliminates. Sorry, okay, copper and one methyl, and this methyl is getting attached to this reductive elimination. Just accept this right now, you will understand this thing just after a few days. 
when we are added. So here, see, this is an actually a negative because this dialkyl lithium cuprate is negative, it is added to here. So this is negative with the lithium post plus, and this iodide when it leaves, this lithium will combine with iodide. This and what is the another thing? The another thing is copper iodide. Okay. So I shall explain two things right now. One is wastage. Sorry, this is not iodide. This is copper methyl. Wastage of one unit of this alkyl copper reagent and second some other substance. So, so I believe let me give you some other substance to first after that this wastage thing uh, will be helpful for you. Okay, let's discuss these two bunches of example. This is the Gilman reagent dimethyl copper uh, lithium copper. So what happens? So when it reacts with for example acid chloride in this is a benzoic acid chloride benzoic chloride so what it have what does it happen this methyl attacks and ultimately results in methyl okay so advantage is that see this reaction stops at ketone stage but if you have taken simple RLI or methyl lithium it could not say further reduction happen. So that is the advantage of this and in this context I want to remind you that there is another type of reagent for example instead of that dialkyl cadmium for example you may consider dimethyl cadmium which may provide similar type of conversion but the problem is that this cadmium is toxic. Okay, This cadmium is tox more toxic compared to copper. Copper has some toxicity but not that much. Copper is relatively benign but cadmium is very toxic. So similar, we know that alpha halo uh, carbonyls are very good susceptible for substitution reaction. Similar thing happens, it reacts, this dye substituted and results in this bromo are substituted with methyl. That these two methyl was previously there, so these bromo substituted by this methyl. Fine. So similarly, now little different example will come. See. This is an acid. This is the leaving group. Now methyl will attack here and it will leave generally is expected. But there is some other advantage. What advantage? That it can attack here, this methyl. Means from this Gilman reagent, it can push and it can leave. This is considered as mineralogous substitution. And actually here this is happening. Because see, this center is little more bulkier compared to this center. That's why attack on this center is facilitated. So the product looks like this is the methyl, so this is double bond, this is R, since this O is left, fine. So now you can see similar problem is observed here, but see this is the tertiary center. So at nucleophilic means substitution on this tertiary center means SN2 type reaction is not easier. So that's why vinyl substitution happens. What happens? This methyl comes here, it pushes, it leaves. So ultimately the product. This is the aline derivative. This is carbon. This is so. This is the methyl. See, but interestingly, here if you see, there is a secondary center with a this, but relatively less bulky. Now you may confuse that this R is a relatively bulky group. This is also relatively bulky group, but this is methyl, and this is a sp carbon needle shape means acetylene moiety. So in this case. This bulkiness factor will not dominate and ultimately this methyl will attack here and it will leave. So ultimate product, this is methyl, this is methyl, this, this. Okay, so this interesting thing you should keep it in mind. Similarly, there is an another example that since I have talked about vinyl over substitution, if you take diethyl cuprate of lithium, lithium cuprate, so what is expected that this ethyl can attack here? This this is near the substitution of SiOI will happen, but actually it is not. Why? Because instead of attacking here, you see this is a relatively means very highly electron deficient center. That is the reason attack will happen, and here it will leave, and ultimately this will result ethyl. So you, sh I believe, I know sometimes it is confusing. What should I keep it in mind? What should I not? But this thing, try to keep it in mind if possible. 
because nobody knows from where the question may come. These examples I have taken from Dr. Chandan Shah's book. You may go through if you want. So now we will discuss about an important thing that is the wastage of this reagent. Okay. So let's discuss about the last part of this discussion that is wastage of Gilman. So what do I mean? This is the typical Corehouse synthesis. So what happens if we take this Gilman reagent and ultimately one unit of this CUR produces. Why? And it wasted. This is the couple product and lithium halide. And generally it is observed that this is taken a little more excess for compared to like fourfold excess. So what is the problem that actually if you want to use this is fourfold so ultimately actually use we are using to prepare this because this is prepared RLI plus CUX so this is eightfold use so huge amount of alkyl lithium is wasted because alkyl lithium are costly reagent important reagent wasted and second this could not this is unreactive because this content this contains alkyl group but this could not be transferred because this is not additional one this is not reactive one because only if there is additional means 4 unit then this is negative then reaction possible so this is a problem this is a, so this is a waste so huge amount of alkyl lithium reagent is wasted so how to avoid this process so first idea is that use a pre copper R RCU reagent and react this with R prime Li, which we want to transfer. I have written in the first part of this talk that I stop because I told that I will discuss now. So what happens? This reacts and produces. This produces what? See, this R attacks this copper. So ultimately R R prime Cu. 1 minus lithium plus. Now see, what should be the character of this R? Should be bound strongly to copper 1 and second point, the most important point, non-transferable. What do I mean? Non-transferable means during the reaction, if you take R and R both, so only this R will be transferred, not this R prime. Okay. So now, what is the simplest idea? What is the simplest choice? That these R, these R Cu, these R must strong bind, must now must bind strongly. For that reason, we can. It is observed that ligands like this acetylides, thiophene, this sulfide, phosphide, cyanide, these bind very strongly with copper. Why? Because you can consider they are sigma donor as well as pi acceptor. So back bonding also possible. So bonding, multiple bonding with copper alkyl. Compared to that, if you take simple lithium like methyl lithium, if you compare. This sorry methyl copper. So this is a simple sigma donor. No pi acceptance possible. So this indicates that this methyl group is reactive and prone to transfer. Okay, this methyl group is reactive and prone to transfer, but this group containing will not go. So in this context and, and another information, uh, let's try to keep it in. Copper and silver reacts with terminal acetylene to prepare acetylene. It's a very facile reaction. So that concept is utilized and for that reason acetylene is a better choice. So what do we mean? For example, you can prepare a terminal acetylene. How you can take acetylene and take one equivalent of base? Means what do I mean? You can take acetylene, this plus one equivalent of base like sodamide, sodium amide in liquid ammonia. In liquid ammonia, what it will produce? It will produce an acetylide anion. Okay, and put one equivalent of 
alkyl ion so this is one equivalent and pr prepare this one equivalent first and second step put this rx for example uh, c4 9 ch2 br so what happens this negative charge will go and attack here it will leave so ultimately what will be the product it will result this so this is 4 5 c5 h 11 c minus 5 so now this if we uh, if this anion means sorry i i made mistake so this should be this should be ch fine so in next step we provide again excess amount of sodium amide liquid ammonia again if we provide excess amount of sodium amide liquid ammonia liquid ammonia one equivalent then this proton will be abstracted so what it is result it will result c sorry c5 h11 c triple bond c minus so this is our target with sodium plus fine so this thing this thing could be utilized for the next step means reaction with copper iodide so one equivalent so if you react one is to one so what will happen this for example let's consider this thing as a r this part as r so r c triple bond c cu will form and this is a strong we know that acetylide uh, formation is very facile fine it will form now what will happen it will form then if you react with for example methyl lithium in thf low temperature so what will happen again mix Gilman reagent will form means this is r c triple bond c copper along with methyl and overall is minus with lithium plus so this reagent we can say as mixed gilman reagent mixed gilman reagent okay means gilman reagent so now if we react with another alkyl halide like for example, take ethyl bromide. So simple, it will transfer. Even if you can take vinyl, you can take aryl, whatever that will re-transfer. And for example, if we means let's take vinyl, that will be more logical, I believe. This is. So what will be the product? So this is Br with methyl. Fine. And what is the another product? This is R C C copper. So this is not the waste. Means we can design such that we can reduce the waste of excessive amount of alkyl lithium. So this is the overall discussion how cross gilman could be a solution for this process. But one information I want to share with you that from this overall discussion. Today is that this is a cross coupling reaction. Today's discussion is mainly a pro based on cross coupling reaction. So this is cross coupling reaction. It's a very good method. We know cross coupling, but this method, this is copper catalyzed cross coupling, oxidative addition, reactive elimination. It's not that much efficient like palladium. And you know the palladium related coupling reaction like Suzuki, Hake, Negishi got Nobel Prize because of its wide synthetic utility. So this thing we will discuss in next video. So, what we have learned today? We have learned today about a very important process that is a cross coupling reaction of vinyl and aryl uh, reagent with Gilman, aryl halide with Gilman reagent. And based on our choice, we can make it. Second point, we understood the uh, other substrate scope for this Gilman reagent. Third, we have learned how this waste happens, and for that purpose, we can use such ligand, these, 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 these because they bind strongly with copper and they are not transferable compared to the additional group like this.
fine and ultimately in this way you can reduce the Gilman reaction and ultimately this is nothing but a mixed Gilman strategy. So this is the end of discussion. Thank you for listening. If you think this video is worthy enough, then please share it among your friends so that many people could be benefited. So thank you everyone. Stay happy. Stay blessed. See you in my next video.